are lovers it's gary and i'm coming to you from the chill room here in my house on vancouver island in canada so welcome 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 today is sunday june the 11th 2023 and this isn't a regular video of mine i've been sponsored by timu to talk about some products that i ordered maybe three weeks ago and it did arrive to me really quickly in the post and timu was so generous they gave me a bit of a budget and I was like able to purchase some of the things that I wanted to review for the channel. This is my second Timu sponsored video. The first one I'll link down below if you're interested in going back and, and taking a peruse of the things that I talked about. In that video, there was more things like yarn storage uh, capabilities, like whether they're zip up, Ziploc canvas bags or jawstring uh, perforated hole bags for letting your yarn breathe. Uh, ideas on project bags, what could translate from something more to do that you would normally see in a bathroom product like a toiletry bag and how it could translate over into a project bag with knitting needle capacity or hook capacity for your crocheted and your knit items. So uh, yeah, go across if you want to, take a look at it. If you're new to Timu and not heard of, heard of it before, Timu is an online store which sells product and it all, it ranges and it keeps growing, uh, adding new things. So when I've looked, I found clothing, I found toys, I found crafts and I found electronics and it continues on to decor if you're looking for kitchen gadgets. It's all, it's all kind of like encompassing the price points are varying, so like if you're looking for something that's more economic, you'll find that, but just be aware that sometimes the value that you're putting in towards the items that you're purchasing reflect the materials that are used. It just makes sense. And uh, then the higher items that, that have more of a uh, sort of a mid-range value, they are made of better materials and have have been stitched together really well. So in this video, I'm going to be talking mostly about my yarn that I purchased. From the first video to the second video, I think eight weeks transpired and I discovered new yarn that was added to the collections on Timu. So I wanted to jump in again and try some of these new yarns. My suggestion is if you are shopping Timu and you don't see what you want at that particular time, to come back after a month, perhaps maybe they've restocked or they may have new new items that you could choose from that are in your interest or your style. Some things that I can suggest when you're shopping Timu as well from where you are, wherever you are in the world, is to always check in on Timu's shipping uh, page where you can find out all the details on the types of shipping or refunds that they offer and the steps that you need to follow if you are going to be returning something within the time frame that they ask you to. Now, price point also fluctuates. So when I am going to be talking about the items that I have priced here for you, and you click on the link, you may see a different price. It's because Timu's prices and discounts always are in flux. They are changing. Sometimes you might even see them cheaper than what I've said to you here today. Yeah, let's kick into this bag that I received about a week ago. It comes in this orange plastic bag. That's the Timu color. And if you're lucky and you've ordered something bigger, you may get an, a box. I've seen other people unboxing their goods from Timu in boxes. Uh, I've only gotten bags and because all of these items are soft items, yarn, some uh, clothing that I'll show you as well, and I have some tools, uh, they're all kind of like okay to be packed in a plastic bag. So yeah, let's get cracking. This first collection that I'm going to talk about is called Fairyland. It is a yarn collection that is around 12 colors in the series and I think I got around seven or eight of them. I didn't get all of them because I only wanted to try the ones that I really gravitated to. I'll show you how it arrives individually. It comes in a little plastic bag like this. I love this color so much I asked for three of them so that I could do a bigger project and it's kind of like a green foresty colorway. Now you can't see it so I've, I'm 
I've unbagged this one here so you can see a good sense of the colors that are in the Fairyland collection. It is, uh, looks to me like it's a four weight, like a slightly thinner four weight yarn and it's a chain spun constructed yarn. It has a halo over it and these ones came at the point of sale that I purchased them with two stitch markers. So that was handy, a little bonus there with two kind of, uh, of these variety of stitch markers in each of the, the balls. Let me tell you a little bit about this yarn. It is a hand wash and uh, lay flat to dry yarn. It is 60% cotton, 30% acrylic, 10% wool, there is 100 grams in these cakes, offering up 245 meters, and it's very, very soft. It has a nice array of colors in there, and they're suggesting here to use a 2.5 millimeter set of knitting needles or a four millimeter crochet hook. What else can I tell you? It's made in China, and for this cake is $7.49. So you may have uh, recognized the chain spun construction and a little bit of the yarn coloring treatment in other varieties of yarn that's out on the market. And I think the price point is relatively comparable. Uh, I would say that it's probably even slightly softer than the, the competitors variety of yarn. So uh, just to keep that in mind, when you're thinking of what this feels like, I'm going to give it a maybe a four out of five, five being the softest on my scale that this would rate as a, a four out of five. The halo may present an issue if you are pairing this yarn with a smaller knitting needle or crochet hook uh, my suggestion would be to avoid any issues with the frogging and that halo sticking on itself by going up a size in needle or hook so that your loops and your stitch work is a little bit more looser but it's very very soft i do love the texture so the color that i'm holding here is color number these all are numbered colors it's uh, 63. So I've got three of those. Put them up here. My favorite color is green. The next favorite color that I loved in the collection was this one here. So it's got blue, like an inky indigo blue, and then it goes into browns, tans. I thought that was a nice mix giving the vibes of like a country river that goes through woodlands. Very, very nice. The color number for this one is, it's on the bag, 62. So that's that one. In similar vein with the, those grayish colors and this has got more cream and lemons in it. It reminds me a little bit of landscape as well, is the color number. 66. Put that up there. Here we have another one where it is yellow and blues. Really, really soft. Yeah, I, I would I would say that that's definitely a four out of five for softness. And the color for this one is 52. This one here is more neutral. It has more of the charcoal, slightly bluish gray in it. And this one here is color number 65. Now onto more pastels. And this one here, which is beautiful for a baby garment or something that you're gonna uh, use that needs those soft colors. And this colorway is called 53 or number 53. It's really nice and gentle. 
and very closely is this one. Now, I don't know whether they've packed this one incorrectly and, and placed it into a bag that has a different color number than the one that I just mentioned, but this one is 69. I could pair that well with the with the with the last one that you just saw. And this is the last one here. So it's got more of the latte color and then it goes lemon like a lemon yellowish green and a baby blue. And that color is color number 51. I really like them. The next yarn that I got, I'm super stoked about trying out, and it is called the Swan Lake. Now, this is a yarn that has wool cashmere blend and angora, and it has this beautiful lotus motif on the labeling. Really like the label. And this is the yarn here. It is a lace weight yarn, and I just love the way that it refracts the light super super soft i'm giving this a four out of five even though it could rate easily after washing and seeing how it feels it could be a five out of five yarn so swan lake let's see what it's made up of it is 50 percent cashmere 40 percent fine wool 10 percent angora it is 50 grams per hank offering up 365 meters in this lovely hank here. The color that you're seeing is 05, or it's actually called blue gray. Excuse the uh, racing cars outside in my street. And uh, this is saying to hand wash and to lay flat to dry. The uh, recommending size here is a 2.25 to 3.25 millimeter uh, knitting needle. Uh, no recommendation on a crochet hook size, but I would say probably around the same. My thoughts are to pair this with something so that I can take, uh, make use of that cashmere in there that's really super silky soft. I also got it in a different color here, which is called dark gray. And I think those two would work perfectly together. Look how velvety that looks. Just the way that the light is hitting it and it, how it sort of like diffuses that light over there. Oh, so wonderfully soft. So the price point on this yarn, uh, I thought was a great value. And it was $9.98 per hank. I think with that cashmere content in here, that this was a steal for the the content and the way that it feels. I absolutely love it. Next up is a yarn that really intrigued me on Timu's website. It is called Good Cashmere. I have never seen a yarn sold with its own personal bobbin before. So I'm curious to know whether you've seen this being sold before elsewhere in your wonders and experience of your yarny adventures. So this is how it was sold to, uh, in a package together. Have the ball of yarn, it's a lace weight yarn. And then here is just a thread, a bobbin of the same color. And I thought the photograph only shows a swatch that seems very fuzzy, like a, a very nice kind of like halo fabric. And this ball here doesn't really have a halo at all. So my guess is that I'm meant to hold the two together as I'm working up the fabric. I can't tell you too much about what the content is because it's in another language, as you can see here on the back there. I'm assuming that those are the three different types of, of fibers that are in this cake. Uh, and all I'm seeing here is the title that says Good Cashmere. So it is very soft. I'm gonna give it a four out of five, not as soft as the uh, other yarn that I showed you that's cashmere, but it's very soft. Anyway, and this color that I'm holding up is color number, also a number 29. It's a white color, as you can see. And the things that I can tell you here is some of the care instructions are to wash by hand, lay flat to dry, 
and they're suggesting here knitting needle size of one to two millimeters or a crochet hook size of two to three millimeters. Maybe in China, it is claiming to be anti-peeling, which is a nice thing. I got myself a couple of colors. The price point of this is, at the moment of this filming, is $5.79 per uh, bobbin and, and ball. And I got it also in this lovely brown here with the bobbin. It's got some sort of fluff on there. That's a nice color. That is really soft, that bobbin there. Maybe that's the cashmere, I'm not sure. And this colorway is called 30, no, sorry, 26, it looks like, a brown. And the last one I, I got in a series of the same yarn base was this one here, which is a yellow. And the number on this one is, looks like 18. Number 18. Those are the yarns that I got in my order this time around with Timu. And now I'm going to move into some products that I know I'll use in my crafting room and also some items that I know that I'll use on a daily basis because they just seem too fun to pass up and I wanted to see the quality of them as well. So here is one of the things that I'll put into my Yarny room. Now this is a spindle and it is meant to be used so that you can put your bobbin of yarn, whether your yarn is on a cone. I wonder if I can use one of my ones here just to show you. I'll grab this. So it'll be just piercing the, the cake like that and you pull from the the outside and the thing turns as you use it. It's a little clunky, but um, it'll work fine. It is currently selling on the website for $11.89 as of this filming. And I can see that it has been discounted from a price point. So if you are fishing for uh, the price points that I'm mentioning here, I'm mentioning the discounted price that I'm seeing as of the filming of this video. I'm really excited about showcasing this next item. It comes in a set and I've been looking at this craft for a while. I have not done it before. So I didn't want to fork out too much money on a very expensive Tunisian set of crochet hooks. So I went on Timu and I saw this set that was covering all the basic favorite hook sizes. <laughs> it is this Tunisian hook set here. Uh, yeah, no fancy packaging at all. It just came in a plastic bag and it was all bound up together neatly in a elastic band. But it comes in all of these plastic colors here for the cable and stoppers in bamboo. And these are bamboo heads or hooks and the sizes look like they range all the way from a three millimeter which is this one here seems to be the smallest and goes all the way to either this one or this one is the largest let me look yeah 10 is the largest 10 millimeters so yeah I'm hopefully going to try this in the next little bit maybe next two months or three months and I have my hooks now that I can give it a good whirl and the length of this, these cords here are quite long enough to do larger panels of fabric. So if I want to do like even clothing, like wearables, tops, that I have enough of a cord length to do fabrics of the same length, uh, I probably will start off something small, not doing wearables, but maybe something more manageable like a baby blanket or even smaller again, like face wash cloths or uh, a scarf. So I think these will cover my testing really nicely. And just so that you can see what the head is like for the, the hook itself, that's it there. They're kind of shaped like that in, in, is it in line? 
Is that one called inline? I'm not sure. It's like a Susan Bates hook and I work well with Susan Bates. I really like that style of hook. So this was being sold at $7.99. So I thought that would be a good way of testing whether this would be a new craft that I'd like to perhaps maybe get better tools later down the way. But for now, I'm loving the fact that I can try try different yarn sizes and have a chance to play around with the types of fabric with 12 different hook sizes. Okay, so the last few things that I've got to showcase are sock sets. Nothing to do with yarn or tools of my crafts, but it has been getting quite warm here, record temperatures, and we're only in the beginning of June. We've got a couple of months left of hot weather and I'm wearing a lot of canvas shoes or boardwalk shoes. So I've been gravitating to looking at what kind of breathable socks that I could wear, something that's light cotton weight and that will go with my outfits. So I went onto Timu and I found a couple of interesting and wonderful colored sock sets. Now these are some sock sets that say that they're women's and some that are men. My first one here is five pairs of sweet all match uh, color block socks. And these are classified as women's socks, but I think it could be worn by anyone. And so these are the socks that I'm getting in the set here. They are so cute and they are ankle socks. Now the uh, foot on this one, for US uh, men sizes would be uh, anywhere from a, I'm gonna say a six to a eight foot uh, size. And I'm an eight, uh, uh, I take an a, a size eight in uh, US uh, measurement. And I believe that might be a 40 or a 41 in uh, European sizes. So I think that would be the maximum foot size for the, this set here. And the price point that I'm looking online right now as of today of the recording is $5.89. And I am wearing the fifth pair. So here they are here. My next sock set is this one here. And it is labeled seven pairs of men's comfortably breathable striped men's socks. And I can't tell you what content any of these socks are because it doesn't tell me whether it's 100% acrylic, whether there is latex in there or if they're cotton, but I'm going to say they do have latex in them because they're quite stretchy. And I think that these are brilliant as well for outfits that I might be wearing for the summer. And they're ankle socks again. These ones are a bit bigger than the previous ones. So I'm going to say that they were going to fit between a seven foot uh, size foot in US uh, men's size all the way up to a nine to ten because they're so stretchy. So I think that you could uh, easily fit a nine and a half US size men's foot into this particular series. And just as a strange note here, I got a smaller set in with the ones that are all the same size apart from this one here. I really like them. I like them a lot. And this set is $9.58 Canadian uh, dollars right now as the record at the recording of this video. And the very last set that I've got to show you in the sock sets is these shorties here. There's 10 in a pack. Again, can't tell you whether it is all cotton or if there's some sort of nylon in there or uh, latex, they are stretchy. And these ones are called 10 pairs of men's colorful comfort business casual ankle socks. And they each have different colors with a key stripe in a, in a contrasting color, which I thought was really sweet. And I'm going to get good use of these when I'm at work, as well as if I'm playing sports. Uh, all these awesome, awesome colors. I absolutely love them. So I got the 10 pack there. I counted them out and they were all in there. 
Now I'm going to say that this is also a mm, a six, a US six size, all the way up to an eight. I don't think this is as stretchy as the previous ones, but I think they're going to probably go to an eight or a nine. Whereas the other variety, which is the ankle socks, are slightly more stretchy. And I think this would go to a nine and a half, possibly a 10 US size foot. But love that, they'll fit me because I'm a uh, US eight size. And those 10 pack of ankle socks, shorties, are going for $9.78 in Canadian currency. And that's all of my Timu order. I hope you enjoyed the uh, reveal and also my thoughts about the product. I am going to be trying and testing out these items, the yarn, the tools. Now, I want to hear whether you've done any Tunisian crocheting as well, because I have not done it before. Whether there is a basic stitch that you can recommend that I try out first so that I get a good experience with Tunisian crocheting, so I'm not biting off more than I can chew. And with that, I'll catch you up in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you then, bye.